The mural on Musicians Repair and Sales just off Indiana Avenue pays homage to the jazz greats who called Indianapolis home. Well, back in the day, all the jazz clubs were up and down Indiana Avenue. And all these guys went to IPS schools and they learned to play in IPS and then made themselves famous but by playing in these clubs. They brought music from the inner city to Indiana Avenue and to all of us. The Madam C.J. Walker Theater is the epicenter of that cultural heritage, and the project would have been the immediate neighbor of and partner with the Madam Walker Legacy Center. The Buckingham companies backed out of the development across the street from the IUPUI campus after neighbors raised objections about increased traffic, the look of the buildings, and a failure to recognize the avenue's history. And some neighbors say they wouldn't mind seeing a cultural development right here along Indiana Avenue celebrating the African American experience in Indianapolis. It was the wrong type of development for that area. It wasn't taking into consideration what the future of Indiana Avenue could potentially look like. An apartment building with people that are transient, that are living there, what does that mean for the future? Indiana Avenue has such history and, you know, what was the benefit for? Was it for the people or was it just for the plans of building, you know, an, a fancy, you know, living space? It's a small space and I think, you know, we're taking the right steps to figure you know, what can we do to really make use of the space? So then we're giving back to the community, uh, preserving history. Opponents say they hope future developers will take into consideration the concerns of neighbors while developing any new plans for the site. Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News. We reached out to Buckingham Companies and the Walker Legacy Center for Common and have not heard back.